Norway, on the west coast of Norway, and the city is called Molde. Uh, when I was diagnosed with dystonia, I uh, started to read about it uh, uh, immediately. Uh, I didn't learn much from uh, the doctor uh, or the neurologist at first, um, uh, but I started to read about it and I was very relieved to uh, get the diagnosis because now it was something that I could uh, look into and maybe uh, receive help and maybe there was uh, treatment. Uh, the neurologist um, uh, told me that you have uh, dystonia and uh, I said, what is dystonia? I've never heard about dystonia. And he said, um, that's a neurological disease that you probably will have for the rest of your life, but you won't uh, die of it. Uh, and uh, I said, uh, will it get worse? Uh, and then he said, uh, you will probably become a, like a snake person. And uh, I was very confused <laughs> what he meant by that, but he, he twisted his body as like to show how dystonia uh, can be. Uh, then he proceeded to tell me that I didn't want any um, uh, treatment unless I became a lot worse. Uh, because uh, there are two forms of treatment, which one is uh, poison, he said, and you don't want poison. And the other one is brain surgery, and um, you don't want that either, he said. Uh, so I went home and started to read a lot about dystonia and uh, became a member of the Norwegian Dystonia Association and learned a lot more.